Axion Lab Innovation Summit 2019. Anomalies are data points that uh, do not fit well with the rest of the data. Anomalies are everywhere. Missing them could be dangerous. Context is important for an anomaly. It's relative. What you see as a normal may be an anomaly in a window of events. There is no silver, silver bullet to detect and solve all the anomalies. Robust Random Cut Forest is a new algorithm for detecting pattern anomalies in real time. Uh, it uses both unsupervised learning as well as uh, supervised learning. So basically, unsupervised learning defines the normal behavior and set the parameters and patterns for algorithm to use that and then detect what is normal and what is not and what is anomaly and how it works. Suddenly you find that you have your credit card in your pocket but uh, you get a notification that you've used your credit card in Pittsburgh when you're, you're somewhere in Austin at that day, right? And then you suddenly notice that on a weekday there's something wrong, everybody's stuck up in a queue and you get all weird emails, I say weird because the English looks all broken and jumbled. So what do the, all these things have in common? Something doesn't fit the pattern. That's what anomaly is. How do you detect anomalies? There are many ways, but which one is the right one? How do you pick the right way? I understand that, I mean, slow and steady wins the race, but how about fast and furious? How about real-time streaming? How about identifying an anomaly or a fraud or anti-money laundering when it actually happening or about to happen? So this is anomaly detection in real time stream, on the fly, in memory, and using robust random cut forest. This is the algorithm which we are using, I mean, on AWS Tech, and I'll walk you through about it. So what it is, how it works, this is basically anomaly detection algorithm. It uses both supervised learning as well as unsupervised learning. Unsupervised learning uh, where it reads the data and defines what is normal. And then after that, uh, once the normal pattern is determined, the, super, uh, the supervised learning uses that pattern and identifies what is normal and what is an anomaly. So this is how it works. And enough of theoretical knowledge, a small uh, presentation. This is my Python code. Basically, I'm using Boto3 connecting to Kinesis, AWS stack. This is the normal hard rate function, which basically gives, you, gives me the normal data. And the next part is basically the higher hard rate, which is the anomaly or anomalous data, which I'm ingesting in my data. And this is the code, which basically 0.01% anomalous data I'm ingesting into the stream. And this is where I'm connecting it to uh, Kinesis. So I am now triggering my Python code, which will gonna give the streaming data into uh, Kinesis. This is the real-time streaming data. Now the next phase is to apply random robot cusp forest uh, algorithm on top of it and try to identify what is anomalous and what is not. And the next thing I'm doing is now writing the code, SQL code, where I'm using uh, robust random cut forest algorithm. And the most interesting part is applying the algorithm. So, as this algorithm is unsupervised algorithm, which means that I am not going to train this algorithm, it just basically reads the data, reads the input stream, find, identifies the pattern, what is normal, what is different, and what is anomaly, and on the fly determines and start rating the point which is different from the normal pattern. So, I mean, just like AI or machine learning, the fraud detection or anomaly detection is applicable to all the industry, all the verticals whether it is banking, finance, healthcare, or, or any, anything. So a few of the use cases which I've mentioned, like fraud detection, or roaming abuse, or video surveillance, detecting or tracking the object, or in a traffic signal, uh, uh, somebody's going on wrong side, or uh, not following the lane or something. So, I mean, it's, it's applicable for everywhere, every, uh, I mean, every domain. Axiom Lab Innovation Summit 2019.